The environment is a delicate organism, like a soap bubble, which keeps itself in balance with natural processes, fueled by the energy of the sun and the action of water and air. Vital processes for the survival of the ecosystem, so strong, yet so fragile. Protecting the environment alongside industrial development, compatible with its fragile balance, is the challenge that awaits us in the coming decades. A challenge that today can be overcome with the help of the most advanced technologies in the energy and production fields. The result of continuous research aimed at improving performance and efficiency. Technologies that turn to primary elements such as water, air and the sun to generate clean energy, which, introduced into circular production processes, develop resources that give new life to the territory designing a future and a new development model where nature and man's production processes travel together in perfect harmony. A future where communities will produce their own energy only from renewable sources by integrating it into virtuous industrial processes where each community will hand over energy surpluses to the system, contributing to everyone's needs. A future that begins to take shape in the Tuscan territory with the Hera Green Valley project. The HGV project consists in the construction, in the area of the former Beckert factory, located in Figlie Valdarno, of a multifunctional pole for the production, storage and distribution of green hydrogen in a complex circular economy system. A system capable of integrating electric services for mobility, the network balancing service, hydroponic agriculture, fish farming, and research and development environments, designing a technological production pole of innovative energy systems. The former Beckert factory is an important industrial complex dedicated to the production of metal rope and inactive since 2018. It consists of a series of warehouses and buildings covering an area of over 120,000 square meters, which employed over 320 people. It is the heart of the H2 Era Green Valley Industrial Conversion Project, which sees the reuse of spaces to implement highly innovative processes with zero impact on the environment. The first of these processes will be the production of hydrogen, for which two fundamental elements are needed, electricity and water. Water is present in large quantities in the Figline area, and the former Beckert industrial complex has 11 wells, nine of which are active, from which it will be possible to draw water for the hypothetical production processes and water will be the basis on which to revive the innovative industrialization of the project. The electricity that will be used to fuel the production of hydrogen and all the other processes will instead be entirely obtained from the sun, thanks to photovoltaic technology. A photovoltaic system that will be built with the most efficient and innovative systems currently on the market. Just three kilometers from the factory in a field of CA, In fact, the largest self-consumption photovoltaic field in Italy will be built on 100 hectares currently for former mining use. Equipped with double-sided panels and equipped with solar tracking for better efficiency and less land occupation, the plant will supply around 140 million kilowatt hours of energy out of the 150 million kilowatt hours needed to operate the new complex. The entire area of the photovoltaic field will be surrounded by a green arrangement that will allow the area to be used for outdoor activities. The energy produced by the photovoltaic field will be transferred to the factory's high voltage power plant and from there managed and made available to the various production activities. To integrate the energy requirements necessary for the operation of the new pole, the entire complex will be equipped with photovoltaic panels on the roofs of the various buildings, reaching the total amount of energy required by the system to function. 
The whole structure will be profoundly modified to accommodate the new production functions. Some buildings will be demolished to make way for the new management, operations and research and development centres, while other parts of the complex will be refurbished to adapt them to the new functions. A new architectural skin, whose graphics will recall the functions located inside, will cover the main facades of the industrial complex. The interior spaces will undergo some transformations and divisions to house the new production activities of the hub, starting from the south side of the complex, where the area called Hydrogen Valley will be created, which will occupy a space of 5,000 square meters and will be positioned on the left side of the building so as to be closer to the utility power station. The project involves the installation of modular electrolyzers for a maximum capacity of 20 megawatts, which can be further increased. The production capacity can reach over 1,400 tonnes of hydrogen per year. Alongside the production of hydrogen will be a power-to-gas plant to produce methane from excess electricity an innovative technology that has the advantage of producing the precious gas without side effects on the environment. This technology will be the first plant in Italy to convert electricity into industrial-sized methane, guaranteeing the interconnection between the high-voltage infrastructure and the methane pipeline. The hydrogen produced by the electrolyzers will be sent to the area called Mobility Green which covers an area of 3,200 square meters on the street front. The green distributor offers the possibility of refueling both hydrogen and electric cars. The daily hydrogen refueling capacity will be 20 heavy vehicles and 60 cars for each distributor. The ultracharge electric top-ups will have a daily capacity of 450 cars per day. An additional 250 cars a day will be recharged with fast charge columns. The energy used for the distributor will be that coming from the plant, and therefore self-produced and from a renewable source. The strategic position of the complex astride the backbone of the Autostrada del Sole allows the Mobility Green area to become an important piece of the future network serving hydrogen and electric mobility. The oxygen produced as waste from the production of hydrogen will be sent in a circular process to the plant called Fish Farm, where tanks will be installed that will contain the breeding of various species of fish, from trout to salmon. The farm will be powered entirely by the energy produced by the photovoltaic system serving the complex and therefore self-produced. The water comes from the current wells present in the establishment. A breeding technology called RAS, Recycling Aquaculture System, will be used which will only use the replenishment water with a recirculation of 95% of the volumes. This system, powered by renewable sources, recovering the oxygen from Hydrogen Valley, will also have a totally zero impact on the environment. Such a complex system must work both day and night, which is why near the fish farm we find the area called Energy Storage, a park of batteries to accumulate about 90 megawatt hours with a power of about 9 megawatts in charge and discharge to ensure energy self-sufficiency 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. The ability to operate both day and night is vital for the plants we have seen. But it is above all for the activity that will occupy the most space in the complex, the area called Food Green. This consists of a highly technological vertical farm, which will occupy an area of 30,000 square meters. It will be the largest vertical farm in Italy, with a production capacity comparable to 300,000 square meters of traditional greenhouses. Indoor cultivation will use 100% energy from renewable sources, self-produced on-site for the LED lighting part. As far as air conditioning is concerned, the heat from the electrolyzers will be recovered and both heat and cold will be produced. Inside, both vegetables, spices, 
and small-sized fruit will be grown according to market demands, but also plants for medicinal and cosmetic extracts. Indoor cultivation reduces the use of water compared to land by 95%. And powered entirely by renewable energy sources, it turns out to be a cultivation with zero impact on the environment. This department has a positive balance with respect to the carbon footprint, i.e. it produces more oxygen than CO2. Hydrogen, methane, fish farming and aerial crops, like in a perfect clockwork mechanism, each activity uses the renewable energy produced by photovoltaic systems, produces no emissions and any waste is used by other activities in a virtuous circle that becomes a symbol of circularity of this visionary and innovative project. Oxygen emitted into the environment, healthy food produced without consuming the soil and at zero kilometers distance, hydrogen for clean mobility and energy produced by the sun are all elements that contribute to redeveloping the environment and the territory and are reflected in daily life. In a challenge that will see us increasingly committed in the future to using the resources that nature has given us without waste, the Hera Green Valley project has all the elements to become a model to follow for its approach, innovative, ethical and technological.